So unique keys provide developers with the ability to add a layer of data integrity to their database. By creating a unique key policy, when a container is created, you ensure the uniqueness of one or more values per partition key. And a unique key is scoped to a logical partition. So if you're, you partition the container based on the zip code, you end up with duplicated items in each logical partition. So in the example here, you can see our partition key is going, or sorry, our unique key is based on the first name, uh, the address, uh, address zip. Okay, so two different values there. So because if you had first name, there might be a bunch of Andrews, right? And if you want to guarantee that there's only a single Andrew, you might scope it based on a postal code or a zip code. You can't update an existing container to use a different, uh, different unique key. So you really do have to plan ahead to make sure you choose the right thing. A unique key policy can have a maximum of 16 path values. Path values being, um, I believe, the separation of the comma. A, each unique key policy can have a maximum of 10 unique uh, key constraints or combination combinations. So there's that. Uh, when a container has a unique key policy, the RUs charged to the create, update, deletes an item are slightly higher. I know we haven't talked about RUs yet, but we will get to it in the course here. So just hold on. Unique keys aren't case sensitive. So just consider that as well. So there you go.